नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल डिग्नेटरीज गेस्ट बेस्टी एंड इनवाइटी डेलीगेट्स द गैलेक्सी ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल्स फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द मीडिया एंड माय डियर कलीग्स आई फील प्रिविलेज्ड एंड ऑनर्ड टू एक्सटेंड माय वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल प्रेजेंट हियर फॉर द सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ सेवेंटीन फाउंडेशन डे ऑफ कृष्ण कंट्रोल होंगी गोई स्टेट ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी The chief guest for today's event, esteemed Vice Chancellor of Indore <coughs> National Open University, Professor Nageshwar Rao, respected keynote speaker of today's Foundation Day lecture, Professor Deborah Tadas, Vice Chancellor of Assam Rajiv Gandhi University of Cooperative Management, are here are missed, along with the other dignitaries. I would like to invite all the dignitaries to today's. and i request our honorable vice chancellor professor rajendra prasad das the registrar dr rupjuti choudhury and the chairperson of the 17th foundation day celebration committee professor rupendra narayan sharma to kindly accompany our guests to the dais and occupy their seats Now I would like to request all the dignitaries and all present here to kindly rise for the university anthem. Oh, oh, oh. 
thank you. Now, we would like to mark the beginning of the program by the ceremonial lighting of the lamp to Ma Saraswati and pay our homage to the great scholar Krishna Kanta Hundikoy. I take the honor of requesting our dignitaries to kindly light the ceremonial lamp. Also, I'd like to request our Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir, Registrar Sir, and Professor Ripendra Narayan Sharma Sir kindly to accompany our guest and take part in the lighting of the ceremonial lamp. May I now request our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Rajendra Prasad Das, to kindly welcome the esteemed Chief Guest, Professor Nageshwar Raoji, with a full Kamosa and a bouquet on behalf of the University. I would like to request Dr. Mudusmita Dwara to assist Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir. Chancellor, sir, to welcome and present Fulam Gamusa and a bouquet on behalf of the university to the distinguished speaker, Professor Devadatta Das. I'd like to request Dr. Piti Sulla Rajpur to the Vice Chancellor. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to request Professor Nripendra Narayan Sharma former Vice Chancellor in charge of the University and the Chairperson of 17th Foundation Day Celebration Committee to kindly felicitate our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Rajendra Prasad Das, with a full arm gamosa and a bouquet on our behalf. For this, I would like to request Dr. Sormista to assist Professor Sorma sir. Now, I'd like to request Dr. Rajul Kumar Patwari, the convener of the 17th Foundation Day Celebration Committee, to felicitate the registrar of the university, Dr. Arup Jyoti Choudhury, with her full arm gamusa and a bouquet. For this, I would like to request Dr. Medusmita Dwara to assist Patwari, sir. Now, I would like to request Professor Branjit Bora, Director of Padmanath Guhain Purwa School of Humanities, to felicitate Professor Ripendra Narayan Sharma with a full arm kamosa and a bouquet. And for this, I would like to request Dr. Priti Solila Rajkhua to assist Professor Branjit Bora. Thank you so much. Now, may I request Dr. Arup Juti Choudhury, the Registrar of the University, to kindly present a brief about the program of 17th Foundation Day of Krishna Kanto Hundigoi State of the University to all of us. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Chief guest of today's function, Professor Nageshwar Rao, Vice Chancellor Indira Gandhi National Open University, New Delhi. The keynote speaker, Professor Devo Das, 
Vice Chancellor Assam Rajiv Gandhi University of Cooperative Management, former Vice Chancellors, members of the Board of Management, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen present. It's a great pleasure on my part to present before you a brief of the event today. It was probably about 16 years back when the Assamese people were almost busy preparing for their Mughali, Bogali Bihu delicacies that the government of Assam taking a leap from the developments elsewhere in the world as well as in different parts of the country decided to establish the first ever distance and open learning university in this part of the country. Obviously, when the university was established, one of the fundamental objectives of it was to create an ambience of barrier-free education in this part of the country. At the same time, the university also underlined the need for the enhancement of the gross enrollment ratio. But at the same time, it would be wrong if we underlie, if we undermine actually, the actual objective of establishing such an institution, that is of establishing equity, fair play, justice, and without discrimination in the society. It is particularly meant for those sections of the students' community who are mainly from the underprivileged section of the society so that they can compete with confidence with the rest who are privileged and fortunate. As you all know, this university is dedicated to the great memory of the great scholar Krishnakanto Handik. The very name associated with the university has strengthened our confidence to work for the underprivileged section of the society. Well, right at the moment, we may have a tiny existence. We may be even ordinary at the moment, but we aspire to be extraordinary with your cooperation and blessings. I hope we will definitely <coughs> secure your blessings and cooperation and that will help us to achieve the target of becoming one of the best open and distance learning universities in the country. With this, I conclude and thank you once again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce our Honorable Vice-Chancellor, Professor Rajendra Prasad Das, who has joined our university on this day, 11th of October, 2022. He has got a vast teaching and administrative experiences, and we are very fortunate to have him to guide us to scale newer heights. As a Professor of Management, Professor Das, before joining our university, was the senior most pro vice chancellor of Indira Gandhi National Open University for more than three years. Prior to that, he was the vice chancellor of Berhampur University, Berhampur, Orissa. May I now request our honorable vice chancellor, Professor Rajendra Prasad Das, to kindly deliver the welcome address to the August audience. Uh, thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. Mera sabhi ko namaskar. Our esteemed chief guest, Professor Nageswar Raoji, Honorable Vice Chancellor Indira Gandhi National Open University, New Delhi, Professor Devabrata Das, keynote speaker, and the Vice Chancellor of Assam Rajiv Gandhi University of Cooperative Management, our registrar, Dr. Arup Jyoti Chaudhary. Dr. N. N. Sarma, the convener of the program, esteemed members of Board of Management, members of Academic Council, 
respected former vice chancellors professor barua and professor dekar respected madam rao and madam das center in charges coordinator of study center distinguished guest dear learners all media friends ladies and gentlemen it is indeed a great pleasure and privilege and honor for us to have your gracious presence at the 17th foundation day celebration of krishna kant handy state open university i also consider it a great opportunity on my part to extend you all a very warm welcome to this foundation day celebration our university was established by the government of assam by an act of state legislature in the year 2005 it was dedicated and named after a great indologist of the country professor krishnakant handy i take this opportunity to pay our rich tribute to the great soul in fact the vision and mission of our university since its inception is to reach the unreached and provide quality higher education at an affordable cost we are all deeply committed to it and now making no stone unturned to fulfill our vision and mission it may be mentioned here that in terms of geographical coverages and locations we have about 27% of the study centers located at char areas 11% in tea garden areas 7% in border areas and uh, 2% in hill districts it is indicative of our commitment of the university towards the underprivileged sections of society in the state it is also very happy to share with the august gathering that our university could succeed to motivate more than 54% female learners in the state to enroll in the master's program during the last 5 years it is indeed a remarkable achievement for the university in disseminating higher educational opportunity to the women of the state during covid-19 pandemic the university provided care and learning support to the learners by providing e mentoring and counseling sessions live classes through different online platforms despite many issues related to internet connectivity and poor networking we address all the, those issues with a sense of commitment and hard work though we are small and young but our university is committed towards its social responsibility we are providing free education to jail mates in the state different differently abled and transgender learners the university also provides learning materials to visually challenged learners in braille and or audio format free of cost our university is also for offering various academic programs through youtube channel of the university very active community awareness and educational programs are transmitted throughout throughout the year by university community radio gantara the lms learning management system of our university known as evidya helps this open university to play a leading role in terms of online education content delivery resource sharing among the educational institution educational institutions of the state our university has adopted five villages for promotion of education among the youth of those villages in the name of mother teresa social welfare mission the national education policy 2020 sets the target of 50% gross enrollment ratio for higher education the odl is now receiving increasing attention from the new generation of learners as well as policy makers our university is now almost prepared in all respect to play key role in the state to contribute substantially towards improving the existing gr level of 17.3% of the state in this academic session with our planned efforts 
By using various social media platforms, our admission figure has crossed more than 34,000. This is the first time highest enrollment in the 16 years of history of our university. The university is going to launch about 50 new academic programs through seven different schools of the university from the next academic session 2023-24. All the academic programs that have been proposed so far are in line with NEP 2020. Out of 50 new programs, seven, seven are master programs, three are bachelor degree programs, nine are diploma programs, and 31 are certificate programs. Now we are prepared to increase our enrollment to 50,000 in the next academic session. Efforts are on to ensure that every learner should receive SLM within two weeks of their admission. A proactive grievance is also constituted to solve the grievances of our learners. I wish to share with the August gathering that our Board of Management recently has given us permission to install a full-size bronze statue of the noted Indologist Krishnakant Handy in the university campus, which will be sponsored by a financial institution. To uh, make the... Uh, very soon we are also going to appoint a part-time doctor for the benefit of university employees. To meet the recommendation of NAC, we are also going to lay foundation stone for the residence of vice chancellor, registrar, teachers, officers, and non teaching staff with a guest house and a hostel in the main campus at Rani. Now, all the formalities are in the process of completion to make the best utilization of the unique location of Rani campus. We are also planning to establish one ODL research center at par with the global standard, with the, with the primary focus on promoting distance education among the tribal. In this context, the efforts are already on and the consult, consultation process is started. I wish to place on record that under the dynamic leadership and efforts and intervention of our Honorable Education Minister, Dr. Peguji, we are now very close to resolve the land long pending land ownership issue of this our city campus. Very soon, we may get 42 new faculty and non-teaching post from the government. We are now conscious and concerned about the quality with our growing quantity. So our effort in this direction is to smooth and fair conduct of examination, which is just started yesterday. A series of steps have been taken for evaluation and result declaration. All these efforts will build the image of the university in the entire northeastern region and the country as a whole. I am confident that with the cooperation and support of our state government and especially the Minister of Education, the vision of the university to reach the unreached with quality and quantity and our dream to be one of the largest and best open universities in the country will be achieved with the passage of time. Jai Hind.